Hi! I will show you my land today, especially the stone houses, which are unfortunately in ruins, and I will tell their story. If you like what you see, please subscribe, like, and give me a comment. I would be very, very thankful. So my name is Maya. I come from Germany originally. So when I came to Portugal, I started to look for a place on my own. I've been dreaming about this for a long time. And I decided for central Portugal because there's a lot of water. It's not so hot like in the south. Then I saw this one here. It just went like that. I asked on all sides and borrowed money to be able to do this. And then everything was very fast, very quick. I'm really, really happy to have found a place that I can call my own. And it's definitely so exciting to have found this place. I'm super, super thankful. Now I will show you around. So there are these three little houses that are connected. And then there's another one a bit further down the hill. These houses belonged to a factory that is down at the river. So I'm now going to show you the old factory. It's completely overgrown. So this is where my land ends. But the beautiful wheel still is mine. The water for the wheel didn't come from the river though. It came from another land up there that has a stream and they built connection to this wheel. But then everything burned, so also the pipes burned. But it's still spinning. And now, how can I show you the ruin? Wow, this is the old factory. So the old factory is another property. I just wanted to show you this because it's the context of my stone houses. It was a textile factory and the story that they told me is that the workers one after the other built their little homes here. This Portuguese textile factory has been abandoned for a long time. So at least 50 years nobody lived here and yes, you can see that inside. So let's go inside. This is how the roof looks like. This is the entrance area. It's kind of cute between the two houses. In another video, I cleaned up this porch over there. So this is the only entrance to these three houses. They are all connected, so it's actually one. So they put a concrete roof on. Here... Here was a little traditional Portuguese kitchen area. And now comes the living area. These are the only windows that still exist. And there's still the old ceiling. And the floor. I would not recommend to walk on it. But beneath this part, this side here, until there is a wall underneath, so you can easily walk on it. And as you can see here, yes, this is where the earth is behind. So the walls are always moist. This was a second room. Must be so nice to live here when they are restored. Okay, I will try to walk on here. Oh, there's the bed. Bye. And then you have this view. Why 
there's the river. There's the river. Oh, nice. Okay, now I'm a bit scared of this bed. So if you wanted to live here, you would pretty much need to take everything out, the walls, the floor, the ceiling, probably the roof, because the roof is not sealed. So it's great that the roof is on and it's perfectly holding the rain off the walls, but for really living here, you would actually need to put a new roof. These old stone walls, it's a really nice climate in here, like down in the wood cabin. It gets really really hot and here it's just calm and not so hot also in the evening it will be warmer longer up here and I will now show you the sleeping area so here the floor is even worse and maybe you can grow some food on this wall. You know, vertical gardens with some salad. That would be cool. I really love these walls, actually. Back there, hmm, quality's not so good anymore. So this, as they told me, where the old bed, you know, like a mezzanine where they were sleeping. And here they had a little cupboard in the wall. Kind of cute. Maybe it was a window before the next person built his house. This is kind of interesting for the plaster to hold. They use this wood technique. <gasps> oh my god! The door! Okay. This is the key to paradise. Okay, are you ready for the next ruin? This room is actually almost done. Well, it has a floor. To make this habitable, you need new windows, a new door, and the roof is not insulated at all. So I'm not really sure what to do with this room. small terrace and down there is the river yay so let's go down here to see the completely finished bathroom okay this was a joke but somebody installed the toilet. They had some pipes. They had a pipe from the water down there and they put a water tank up here. So then this would flush the toilet. These are the rooms that we just looked at from the top. There's a little balcony. And there we go. So this room has a really nice floor. And it has a wine storage, very important. And a big old wood treasure box. And a lot of moldy walls. And a ceiling. And so many spiders. Here were some pipes, because somebody had a kind of kitchen here. And some clothes. Look at these thick walls, so cool. All right, so we'll go around to open that door. Oh, this is so exciting to show this to you guys, because to be honest, I was just ignoring these ruins. I think I would need a carpenter or just a builder. I don't know. I don't know where to start. And let me show you this. It's interesting because here they closed 
This was an old door. Here was an old airflow window. This was an old stable probably, just until this height. And then they put this balustrade up there. And this building that I'm showing you soon. And that was the room that we just went in that already had the concrete floor. So we go up here. So here comes the churrasqueria in Portuguese, the grill area. It's a really cool oven. I'm very excited to try it out for pizza. This is such a nice space here because you have the view to the whole river. Hi, Kevin. Oh, hi, cat. Hi. Did I frighten you? Did I scare you? Hmm? How are you doing? The previous owners just used it to have a workspace to make firewood. That's the little grill area. Oh, here's a water tank covered by firewood. So they had one water tank up top that I already cleaned up and painted and one down here. And this is how the houses look all together. And now is the ground floor. We have these two old stables. There's some nice old tiles and a lot of wood. And this is the last one. The door doesn't really open. So here they had some wine making going on in that tank. And this is the room below the, the old mezzanine bed area of the factory workers. So interesting. So this area, you know, from my last video where I cleaned it all up. So now you know what's happening with the ruins. I will show you now the two big terraces where I cut down the ferns in my first video. And these would be very, very nice garden terraces because the ferns signalize a very fertile soil. As you can see, the ferns really like to grow back. So this is the first terrace. You really only see ferns. And then down here, we have again the little stream over the ground and here it goes under the ground and then comes out at the big stone wall next to the cabin over there. I like these oak trees a lot. I like their fruits, they are so funny. This terrace here can also be flooded because the stream will be so strong that it will overflow. I'm not sure if that will happen this year. Yay! So these are the two terraces perfect for a garden. So this land up there doesn't belong to me. It's just rocks and up there starts the eucalyptus, which I'm not very excited about because it burns so well. This ruin up there looks really nice, I think. Must have been a nice little house. This was the first part of my land tour because there is something else I want to show you next week. And now it's time for some daily or not so daily routines at the cabin. Hi there! So today is the party preparation day because tonight I'm having a little 
get together to inaugurate the cabin and the place. So I just came back from the market and now I have to get all the stuff down to the cabin. I'm so glad I have a wheelbarrow. So my fridge is filled up, the stream, the spring, unfortunately is almost empty now, like it almost disappeared. It used to come up from that window, from that hole there, and now it just comes out from the bottom there. But it's enough to serve as a fridge, and I'm happy that still works. Let's make some potato salad. would have guessed you signed up for a cooking show. I'm gonna get two more of these old chairs. I think I saw them somewhere. But it's good to have more seats. But before the party starts, I have to do some garden work. I'm going to remove these plants here. They are so crazy. If you cut them, they come back right away. The only way to get them out is to actually get them out. This is a big root. Let's see if I can do this. It is so windy today. Turns out we have a second beast over here.
time to go swimming. Milau. Yummy. So everything is ready from my side. Now I'm tired. <laughs> so the party can begin. I'm really happy about your comments. You have such good questions and tips for me and I really appreciate that. 